This video is showing an overview of the new ED Launch Point Provider View. The new ED Launch Point will become the new Emergency Department Provider View for FirstNet. The purpose of Launch Point is to provide quick access to the items and information providers need most that are normally accessed in the chart. This information is now available in a patient row. ED Launch Point has been designed with a provider-focused view to streamline the workflow and allows providers to place favorite orders without having to enter the patient's chart. ED Launch Point will serve as the starting point for all future advancements for FirstNet. To begin using the ED Launch Point, locate the FirstNet icon on your desktop and double click. The first time logging into FirstNet with ED Launch Point, you will be asked which campus to view. Select from the drop down menu and select OK. It is important to remember that ED Launch Point will open to the last campus being viewed when returning for your next shift. To change campus location, open the menu icon located next to your name and change your location if needed. Then return to the menu icon and complete the available provider check in. You will only need to complete the following steps on your initial check in for the selected location. Enter your name, last name for physicians, and first name for mid levels. Select the correct provider role. Resident will need to select ED mid-level. Select the correct default relation. Resident will need to select resident. Choose a color that you would like to be displayed behind your name. Enter your ASCOM phone number for your shift in the provider comment box. Then proceed below and verify that both available provider and available reviewer boxes are checked and select OK. Now you are ready to proceed using the new ED launch point. We will begin with an overview of the ED launch point layout with detailed information about each section later in the demonstration. ED launch point consists of two main areas, the banner bar and patient rows. The banner bar consists of zones, selected views within those zones, filters for those views, metrics for both the department and provider, patient search bar, and a menu providing you the ability to change locations and to check in or out as an available provider. Patient rows consist of several columns containing information relevant to the patient current encounter. By clicking the heading for a column, we'll sort in an ascending or descending order. The patient information heading has a small menu which allows you to reorder by name, age, or gender. Beginning to the left of the screen, throughput status, which shows a patient status throughout the patient's emergency department of encounter which are indicated by various colors. The white bar indicator within the throughput status provides notification that results are pending review, documentation, or orders need to be co-signed. Room shows the patient current location within the emergency department. This column also includes critical and non-critical alerts ranked by hierarchy. Acuity shows the acuity level entered by the triage nurse. Patient information shows the patient's name, date of birth, age, gender, and icons indicating other information such as fall risk or 30-day readmit. Length of stay column allows providers to see the current status of the ED patient as compared to their total length of stay from check-in. Status provides the status of various items such as triage, order status, and disposition, as well as a section to put the patient's bed assignment. Documentation provides the status of the provider's note such as started, signed, or co-signed request. Provider assignment has several columns showing physician, mid-level or resident, registered nurse, and tech assigned to the patient. Patient detail shows the chief complaint, reason for visit or diagnosis when completed by registration, the triage nurse or provider. Vital signs by default is collapsed. Clicking the arrow to the right of the heart icon will expand the section. When expanded, it shows the temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, dosing weight as entered by nursing staff, flags for KTRAX, and KTRAX score. Please note that these are the last documented vital signs in the record and it is not an automated process. Clicking the heart icon will provide more accurate vital signs and information such as triage and the latest vitals and when they were completed.
Medications, labs, EKG, radiology, patient care, and consult icons show the status of any order placed. Beneath the icon is a progress bar of all orders in that section. Please reference the ED Launch Point Reference Guide for further details. ED Launch Point focuses on six areas patient tracking, patient detailed information, labs, medications, diagnostic and other resources, status, length of stay, documentation. The home screen auto refreshes every 60 seconds. Patient tracking. Patient tracking is accomplished with the use of zones such as my patients, all beds, and other areas based on local build. The view defaults to all but has several filters available to show. My patients, unassigned patients, those with pending disposition orders, and my patients and unassigned. Below the view is the show list, which can be used to narrow the filters even further to show critical labs and or vital signs, waiting room, or hide empty beds. New to ED launch point are my patients metrics driven by the individual provider, which include number of current patients assigned, number of patients assigned in the last hour, and the number of patients assigned in the last 24-hour period. Median door-to-door -door doctor provider from arrival to completion of doctor exam. The department metrics are shown in the banner bar and include the total of patients in the waiting room, total of pre-arrivals, total number of patients currently in the department, number of patients that have registered in the last hour, total patients registered in the department in the last 24 hours, median length of stay, and median door-to-door -door provider from arrival to completion of doctor exam. Please refer to the ED Launch Point Reference Guide for definition of the displayed metrics. Also located in the banner bar is the search bar for locating patients and the menu icon which will allow you to change your campus location and check in or out as an available provider. To change to a different campus view, click on Change Location, which will open the Change Location dialog box and a list of available nursing units. Select from the list and click OK. Clicking on the Check In or Check Out will open the Available Provider dialog box. Follow your current workflow in checking in or out as an available provider as described earlier in this demonstration. When assigning yourself to a patient, this will add them to the appropriate zones and filters. If the provider has not checked in as available provider, they can do it while assigning themselves to the patient. Clicking in the Provider column will open the Provider Assignments dialog box. If you see you are required to check in before assigning or unassigning yourself, clicking the Check In will open the Available Provider Check-In dialog box. Complete the check-in with your current workflow. You will be returned to the Provider Assignments box, Next to the appropriate section, MD or APC, will be the Assign box. Note, if you use the Assign, Unassign Others button to accurately record metric times, providers still need to be checked in to the correct campus to have the metrics work properly. Patient Information Detailed patient information is available in two columns, Patient Information and Patient Details. Clicking on the patient's name will open the patient's chart. Clicking anywhere in the box except for on the patient's name will open the patient summary dialog box. This summary provides primary care physician, acuity level, allergies, past visits, notes, triage information including reason for visit, chief complaint, and initial vital signs. Clicking on the following titles will open that section of the chart. Home medications, family history, medical history, procedure history, and social history. Clicking on any of the icons for vital signs or orderables shown in the patient information box will provide that same functionality as if clicked on from their specific columns. Status. The status column indicates the current status of an ED patient. Information provided in this column, pre-arrival ETA, unassigned, orders pending, orders complete, and disposition status. Length of stay. The LOS or length of stay column will provide the bedded length of stay and total length of stay. 
Clicking in either column will open a dialog box showing the bedded length of stay, total length of stay, and time since disposition was ordered. Please refer to the ED Launch Point Reference Guide for further details regarding the length of stay, LOS, overdue, and critical timings. Documentation The documentation column indicates the various states of the patient's note as shown here. Clicking on the icon will open the documentation section within the chart with the functionality remaining unchanged. Placing the cursor over the documentation icon will display the following information for the current visit. Vital signs, medication, labs, and other resources. The following sections allow the provider to view vital signs, place orders, and review testing results. These sections will be discussed in two parts. Vital signs and orderables such as medication, labs, diagnostic, and other resources. In addition to the information already discussed, the vital signs column can indicate whether vital signs present are normal or abnormal but stable. There is no time indicator for late or critically overdue vital signs. Please refer to the ED Launch Point Reference Guide for further details regarding vital sign results based on acuity. Orderables. Under each order icon is the order status indicator showing their progress. Hovering over any orderable icon will display their status. The medication order icon indicates their various states as shown here. A medication order that has been placed but not have been completed will display the icon with the status bar below. Once the order has been reviewed and completed, the icon fades out and the status bar becomes unavailable. Medication orders will go overdue at 15 minutes and critically overdue at 30 minutes. The lab order and results icon indicates their various states as shown here. Lab orders will go overdue at 15 minutes and critically overdue at 30 minutes. The EKG order and results icon indicates their various states as shown here. EKG orders will go overdue at 30 minutes and there is not a critically overdue indicator. The radiology order and results icon indicates their various states as shown here. Radiology orders will go overdue at 60 minutes and critically overdue at 90 minutes. The patient care order icon indicates their various states as shown here. Patient care orders will go overdue at 30 minutes and there is not a critically overdue indicator for this section. The consult order icon indicates their various states as shown here. Consult orders will go overdue at 120 minutes and there is not a critically overdue indicator for this section. Medication, lab, EKG, radiology, and other resources can be ordered by clicking on the appropriate icon or from the patient summary dialog box. If needed, clicking on the orders link in the dialog box's banner bar will take you to the orders page within the chart. They remain unchanged in their current content and functionality. Each section has the same basic layout, pending orders, results to review if appropriate, system-defined favorite orders, and user-defined favorite orders. To place an order from these screens, select the order. The small box to the upper right will change to green and display the number of orders selected. The provider can move between the sections such as medications and labs before signing all of the selected orders. Click on the open envelope in the green box will display all of the proposed orders that are ready for signature or ready to be modified. If no modifications are needed, simply click Sign or Sign and Close. To review results varies depending on if it's labs or radiology. The lab section has three views. Flow sheet, which will show the results from this encounter. Clicking on a micro lab result will provide further details. Quick review will display the most results for the encounter. While in quick review, checking the prior encounters box will provide any past labs available to view. An orders status will display the status of all labs. Once lab results have been reviewed, click Review All or Review All and Close button. This will clear any notification indicators. Please refer to the ED Launch Point Reference Guide for further details. Favorites. ED Launch Point allows the provider to create personal favorites to be displayed in the proper section. From the modal order entry window, click the arrow to the right of the favorites, yellow star, icon. Select Organize Favorites. Create new folders using the following naming conversion. For medications, use LaunchPoint Medications. For labs, use LaunchPoint Lab. 
For EKG, use LaunchPoint EKG. For imaging and radiology, use LaunchPoint Imaging. For patient care, use LaunchPoint Patient Care. And for consults, use LaunchPoint Consults. Right-clicking anywhere on any active patient will bring up ED Patient Menu, allowing quick links to Provider View opens the Provider View M page, Orders section, Documentation section, Results Review section, Problem List section, Attach Pre-Arrival, Discharge Patient, Admit, Request for Admin, Request for Observation, Transfer Patient, Transfer Patient, Transfer to Hospital, Assign Unassign Others dialog box, Patient Summary Report, which provides detailed report of benchmark times and other information, Set events as no visitors or confidential. Selecting any admission option will open to order dialog box to complete any required information. Selecting the discharge patient will place the order and open the depart process to completion if needed. This concludes the overview of the ED LaunchPoint Provider View.